Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Amanullah. You're watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Aman's video. Dear viewer, today I'm going to introduce you with cestode. We know that the medically important human parasites are divided into two broad categories. One is protozoan and the other is metazoan or helminth. And the helminth is further divided into two nematode roundworms and platyhelminth flate worms. While flate worms were further divided into two, one is cystode and the other is trematode. So today we are going to introduce you with cystode. First of all, cystode is flate worm. What do we mean by flate worm? I will discuss later in my lecture. But the body of the cystode is composed of two parts. One is head and the other is body. The head of the cystode is known as scolex. And this head or scolex contain organ for the attachment with the intestinal wall of their host. Therefore, those organs are known as sucking grooves or sucking ducts while the body of the cystode is composed of different segments and each segment is known as proglotid. Each segment is known as proglotid. There is no separate sexes of worm. It means that there is no male and female worm in cystode, but every worm is hermaphrodite. It means that it contains both male and female gonad. So every segments of this worm is a hermaphrodite segment and it contains male and female gonad. The shape of the uh, uh, cystode worm is like this wrist watch consider that it is a scolex or head and these are the sucking grooves or sucking duct available at the scolex of the cystode and these are the different segment here you can say the segment of the chain so these are the different segment of the body and these each segment is hermaphrodite the worm the adult worms produced new segment or new proglotid at the germinal site which is present at the base of the head. So new segment is produced here and the oldest segment present at the distal part of the tail of the worms shed out and this segment is gravid segment. It means that it contain ovas and these ova or eggs are secreted into the feces of the host and those feces and those uh, eggs present in the feces are taken up by the intermediate host in order to complete the life cycle of the different cystode. All the cystode, we will discuss four important cystode in upcoming lecture. One is tinea, tinea, the other is echinococcus. Echinococcus dilatum, Diphelobotrium latium, and uh, tinea, Echinococcus granulosum, uh, dilatum, and one other. So, we will discuss total four important cystode, and these cystodes are usually transmitted to the human being by ingestion of larvae present in the undercooked meat of the intermediate host. But there are two important exceptions which are transmitted by the ingestion of egg. One is tinea solium and the other is echinococcus granulosus. We will discuss in the respective lecture. So it was all about the introduction to cystode. I hope this video would be more beneficial to you. Uh, I would like to request you for the subscription of my channel Dr. Aman's video and also try to hit bell icon in order to get notification for my upcoming video. Thank you so much for watching my YouTube channel Fee Amanillah.